Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Rose and if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. For today's video, I made over a client's utility, mudroom, pantry room, and coffee bar station. This room, as she likes to say, works really hard. I thought that was such a good <laughs> way to put it. I mean, she uses this room for so many different things. So it was just a matter of getting it to function a lot better for her, getting all of these things off the ground. This is her pantry area and I did come over earlier in the week and I kind of went through all of her food and I put it into the sections that I wanted it to be housed in on the racks. And that's something I would recommend for you to do when you go into organize a space, create sections and then Put those food items back into the spaces you want them to go and that will give you a better idea of what kind of organizing things you'll need for that space and then this is her coffee bar area and as you walk back here you have her laundry room area and then this back wall she keeps several different items and we're gonna go through all of the items and how I decided to categorize them in each space as we go through this makeover but without further ado let's just get right into the video the first section that I worked on in this room was the coffee bar station and that's one thing I would recommend for you to do. Don't feel like you have to tackle an entire space all at once. You'll probably end up feeling really overwhelmed. Just choose one section of a room and start there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm starting with the coffee bar station and basically all I'm doing first is removing everything from this station. When you're going to organize a space, it's so nice to start with a clean slate and I kind of picture it like a canvas, a piece of artwork. It's so much easier to get creative and to be innovative when you have a clean canvas to work on. So that's the first thing I'm doing. My client, who is also my dear friend, gave me a really healthy budget to be able to purchase organizing things with to really help this space to function best for her and her family. But if you don't have any money to spend on organizing things for a space and all you're able to do is clean it out like you see me doing here, then that will actually help tremendously so don't feel like if you don't have a budget to spend on things you can't organize a space what I would recommend for you to do is do what I'm doing here empty everything out and then deep clean that space like you see me doing and then just reorganize everything back into that space with the things that you already have and that way you kind of can start saving for the things that you want but at least you have a space that you like a little bit better than before so that's the next thing I'm doing is I'm just wiping down this coffee bar station and now I'm ready to reorganize everything back into it. All right, so for the coffee bar station, I basically just drew out at home how I wanted to set everything up. So I have her Nespresso maker right here and then her coffee pot next to it with her coffee grinder. And then this is just gonna be like a decor moment in the middle. And then to the right, we have her frother her coffee filters, her coffee, um, her sugar jar, and a spoon holder. And then this is how I'm going to set everything up on the inside of the cabinet. And then down here is where I'm going to decorate her book. So let's go ahead and do that now. But this just kind of helps me to remember where I want to place everything. Hey there, people. Ready to get another one done. <laughs> 
So about this time, my husband showed up and he's actually building some shelves for her for her laundry room area. And one thing I do want to tell you guys is that when you go to house things in any kind of glass jar and you're taking it out of a package where you may need the label that's on that package, just cut it out and set it on top of whatever it is that you're housing in that jar. And that's what I did for her because sometimes when we buy labels, they don't say what we need them to say. They're more like generic, like almond flour or tea, but it doesn't say what kind of tea. So I did not label these jars. These are going inside of her cabinet in her coffee bar station. I just went ahead and did what you see me doing here. Now, the reason why I like to house things in bins and storage containers and jars is because it kind of forces you to keep that system and to keep it organized for example, when she goes to buy more tea bags, she can't just put them on the shelf somewhere. I bought her a tea bag organizer so she can house her tea bags in there. And I think it kind of encourages people to be more organized. And my friend is actually honestly very organized. This client, her home is so beautiful and so organized. I really don't feel like she needed me to do this <laughs> because she's so talented herself, but she has little babies and so sometimes it's not a matter that you can't do it. It's just finding the time so you kind of don't feel bad about having somebody come into your space and help it to function better for you. That's something I love to do for my friends is get their homes to where it functions best for them, especially for mamas because they just need help sometimes and don't feel bad to ask for help, okay? <laughs> Now I did want to be able to create some personalized labels for all of the baskets and storage bins that I purchased but sometimes those basket clips can be so expensive and then you have to buy the labels that will fit in those basket clips. So what I did was I just printed off my own labels and I used some thick cardstock paper and then I just cut it out and I put it onto these tags that I got from Hobby Lobby and my client said that she actually loves the color sage green and so this is the one part of the makeover where I added a pop of color and it was to the tag. So as I'm organizing everything throughout this makeover, you'll see me add these tags to different bins and baskets that I purchased. And that's just an inexpensive way to add really pretty organizing labels to a space that you have without really having to spend a lot of money. I did want to add some extra storage for my client for her laundry room station and so my sweet husband was able to build this beautiful shelf for her. This is so simple and so easy to do. I mean he makes it look simple. <laughs> but yes, that's one thing I would recommend is if you have a laundry room, try to create some open shelving and that way you can organize all of your laundry room items onto those shelves in a beautiful way where it's not only functioning for you and there are things that you use, but it's also kind of a piece of artwork as well. So we'll continue to show you that in the works throughout this video. For the coffee bar station, I went ahead and I housed all of her Nespresso pods, all of her loose leaf tea, and all of her Stevia packets on the left hand side on the top shelf. And then in the middle section there, I have four tea boxes. So in the back is where I housed her tea bag that she uses to make iced tea with when she hosts. And then her front two storage containers will be tea that she might use more on a regular basis. And then I have one that is just empty and that way she can kind of add to her tea collection and she won't have to feel limited. And then on the right side of the coffee bar is where I housed all of her smaller miscellaneous coffee items. And she has this allergy blend bottle along with this thieves bottle and she already had that she had those labels so I just set those in front of the bins but inside of those little crates is where I housed like all of the miscellaneous items and then on the top of those shelves is where I housed all of her coffee mugs and 
And on the bottom shelf is where I housed all of her cookbooks and I just color coordinated them. So I did white and then I did some of the more cream colored books. And then I actually ended up moving this a little later on in the makeover, but that's just a catch all tray that I found at the thrift store. And then here is the right hand side of the coffee bar station. I housed the rest of her books here and then she already had these two containers and so I put her hot cocoa in one and her little mini marshmallows in another one and I just set it behind her books here for a little decor moment and then I got her these two coffee bag clips. <laughs> They're great because you can keep clip them onto your coffee bags, but then it also serves as a scoop for you. And I just set those on top of her books as a little decor moment. And then I found these super cute little place settings at Goodwill and I'm just setting those on top of the other books. And I like to purchase things that are decorative, but they also serve a purpose. So I'm very pleased with how this space turned out. And now before we move on to the pantry, I'm gonna go ahead and place everything back onto the top of the coffee bar station. And I just used a couple of cutting boards that she already had and she went ahead and oiled them up for me to make them look really pretty and I used them to cover her cords and then one thing that I purchased that I'm obsessed with, I will link these down below, are these beautiful simple syrup jars. They're glass with glass spouts and they are just so pretty. And these simple syrups are things that she keeps out on her coffee bar station. And so I thought this is a great moment to not only, like I've said before, house something in a container that serves a purpose, but also serves as a decor moment. And that's kind of one thing that I always like to stick to with all of my makeovers is I want everything to not only function and have a purpose but I want it to be decorative and that's something that I try to implement even in my own home. I don't like to have a bunch of decorations and knickknacks everywhere that only serve as decorations. I want them to actually serve a purpose and that way kind of forces you to create more of a minimalist home to where everything that you have is something that you actually use on a regular basis. But yes, I love these so much. I think I might just have to splurge and get some myself. <laughs> these were a bit more pricey. They were one of my splurge items for this space, but I thought, you know what? It's worth it. <laughs> Now that the coffee bar station is done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the first shelving unit as you walk in to the left. And so this is kind of how I designed everything. So now we're gonna go ahead and organize it all. All right, you guys, so as I am organizing this pantry section, I'm gonna to explain to you the order in which I placed everything on her pantry just to give you some ideas for your pantry. So on the very top shelf, I went ahead and I did a ketogenic basket for all of their ketogenic food and then a supplement basket for all of their ketogenic supplements. They're trying to transition over into a ketogenic lifestyle. So I wanted to incorporate that into their pantry. And then right next to it on the top shelf, I went ahead and I put a basket for all of their bulk food items so things that they don't reach for on a regular basis and then right below the top shelf I went ahead and I housed on the right hand side four jars with all of their candy in it my clients mother-in-law gave her 
some bags of candy and so I thought this would be such a great moment to have a little candy station and so I did that for her and then right next to the candy station I put a basket that I thrifted and I housed the remaining candy items in that basket that were just too small to fit into a larger jar. And then next to that, what I did was I housed all of her canned goods into separate containers. I just categorized all of them and then I put labels on them. I put a canned good label and then for the rest of them I did four through nine. And what she can do is she can type up a list, what's in bin number four, what's in bin number five, etc. and so on. And then she can print off that list and kind of tape it or hang it up somewhere in her pantry. That way she has a good inventory going of what's in each numbered bin and she knows what she needs to restock on when she goes to make her grocery list, if that makes sense. And then on the shelf underneath that, I housed all of her canned meats in one section and then right next to that I had an organizing bin where I housed all of her packets of meats and then to the right of that I put a large basket and that's where I put all of her bread and then right next to that is where I housed all of her baby food into clear storage containers. She requested for most of her bins to be clear. And I will link the labels that I used for this pantry down below for you to label all of the clear bins. And then on the shelf below that, I went ahead and I put a basket for all of her dinner food items. So when she's wanting to make dinner, she can go into her pantry and look inside of the dinner basket. And it just has things like pastas and things that you can use to make dinner with. And then next to that, I have canned goods that are for dinners, like chilies and things like that. And then on the remainder of that shelf, I housed all of her oils and vinegars. I housed the ones that she probably uses more on a regular basis in a turntable. It's a clear turntable. And then next to that, I housed some larger clear bins and that's where I put the remainder of her oils and vinegars and dressings and things like that. And then right below that shelf, I went ahead and I housed all of her baked goods everything she probably uses to bake with in storage containers and I labeled those and then on that same shelf I had a separate basket for all of her breakfast food items and then another basket right next to it with all of her breakfast condiments like syrups and jellies and stuff so she has a basket she can go to when she wants to make breakfast and a basket she can go to when she wants to make dinner and then on the very bottom shelf I put a basket with all of her snacks for her son and then I also put some of his snacks in jars and I also put all of their s'mores items in jars on that section as well and then the last thing on that last bottom shelf is where I housed her produce and that is kind of how I organized everything in this pantry and now that the pantry and the coffee bar is done we are ready to move on to the back end of this utility room.
All right, so as I go through this shelf back here, I'm gonna kind of explain to you the order in which I housed everything on this back shelf. And this is where you'll see how this entire space works very hard, as my friend said. <laughs> on the top shelf, I went ahead and I housed all of her bulk toilet paper, her bulk paper towels, her bulk items. Like she also had some Ziploc bags up there. And then I went ahead in the middle of it and I placed a large stock pot. When you first walk into this utility room on the floor to the left, there was a bunch of different things. A lot of them were, you know, things that she uses to cook with, but not on a regular basis. So she didn't house them in her kitchen. She wanted them in here. So some of these bigger pieces I just used honestly as decor moments. So instead of the top shelf being just a bunch of paper products in the middle is this beautiful stock pot and that's kind of how I divided all of those things that were on the floor there in the utility room in this back space here and then on the shelf right below that I put two baskets now even though these were baskets these were black metal and they were see-through so it gave her the illusion that there's organization but she could still see what's in every basket which is what she wanted and when you have things on higher shelves like this it's nice to be able to see what's in the baskets anyway so this is just a great option and I purchased these at Target they were eight dollars a piece I will try to find them and link them down below for you but basically on this next shelf down I went ahead in one basket and I I housed all of her cleaning rags and then all of her Swiffer wipes and her duster replacements and things like that and then next to that I put her vacuum seal pack and her vacuum seal bags and then in the smaller empty space next to that I housed a large punch bowl that she had with glass punch bowl cups to go along with it so again something that she doesn't need to house in her kitchen because she doesn't use all the time but is a great spot for the back end of this utility room. That's where I tried to house all of those kitchen items that are more seasonal. And on the shelf right below that, I put three of those same black metal baskets along the length of that shelf. And that's for the bulk food items as well as some of her bulk non-food items. So two of those baskets are for her remaining bulk food items that wouldn't fit on the top shelf of her pantry. And then the third basket, I put her bulk trash bags, and then in that basket with the trash bags, I put her bulk baby wipe. So that's kind of just like a bulk section on that shelf. And then on the shelf right below that, she has her microwave, and then in the middle of her microwave and the basket that I set on that shelf, I put a cardboard box, and that's where I housed all of the paperwork that went with like her washer and dryer, all of her bigger cooking equipment, things like that. It's all in one box in one section on that shelf. And then in front of that, I put a knife sharpening block because to the left of that, I put a basket for all of her husband's things, including his knives, his grilling equipment, any tools that he may have, there's a basket just for him. And then right on the wall next to that basket, we put a knife organizer and then I also added a few little decor pieces to that knife organizer to make it look not only functional but also decorative. And then on the bottom two shelves, second to last, on the bottom, on the right hand side, I put a large basket and that's where I put all of her bread making books and tools and then right next to that in the corner I tucked away her wheat grinder for when she makes bread so that way she has a bread making station and then right below that on the last shelf I put another basket and that's where I housed all of her cleaning supplies and then to the left side of both of those shelves next to both of those baskets is where I housed the remainder of the items that were on the floor those cooking items that she does not use all the time they are only seasonal and that's kind of how I organized everything onto those shelves and then the remainder of the items that were on the floor I just housed on top of the two refrigerators that are in that space as well and you will see that in a moment and then once I was done with this space I went ahead and I worked on the laundry room which these shelves that my husband built for this laundry room area turned out so beautiful. I am so proud of him, so proud of his work. And then he also went ahead and built her. He ran home this day and he did this while I was organizing the pantry. He's just amazing. 
he built this ironing board station. So it's a place where she can hang up her ironing board, but also hang up her iron and her starch. And it's also decorative. I mean, it's so beautiful. He did such a good job. So I'm just organizing this space now. One thing I did just to add a little decor moment to this space was I purchased these clothing pins. They're meant to use when you air dry clothes on a clothesline. I got them from Hobby Lobby and so I just thought that would be a cute little decorative moment in her laundry room. And if she ever does want to hang her clothes outside on a clothesline, she can. So that is just once again something I love to do. I love to buy decorative items but that can also serve a purpose later on. And then I housed her laundry detergent in this large glass pitcher and I bought her some measuring cups so she can measure it out. And then I put her dryer sheets in this basket here on top of her dryer and then I just gifted her with these towels and a candle and I just thought these are things that she can use but it also looks beautiful on her dryer when she goes to do her laundry and then I just got her a notepad so that way she can just make a list whenever she runs out of anything whether it be a food item or a cleaning item in this space or a laundry item she has a list and she can just write everything down and then I just housed her remaining laundry items in these baskets that I purchased for her and I also gifted her with this pretty little swan because they live right off of a lake and they see geese and ducks all the time so I thought this would be a cute little ode to that. And then this is the beautiful ironing board station that my husband created for her. I have one in my home and I love it. <laughs> And so here's just a little before of this space, just to give you a little reminder of what it looked like before and then a little after. And I love it. I love these shelves. I have a feeling that we're going to get a lot of requests for these shelves in my future clients' homes, <laughs> just because I can't imagine if I love them so much and my client loved them so much, how much other women would like them. And then in this spot right here, we just moved the remainder of her brooms and mops to the right side of the wall and then I purchased this beautiful drying rack for her. I actually purchased two and the second one is going to come in next week and we'll go over and hang that up on the wall right next to it and these are so beautiful. They serve a purpose but they also look decorative so I liked that and then I got her this three compartment hamper and it also folds up so she can tuck it away when she needs to and so yeah, I am just so pleased with how this space turned out. I feel like it's so much more organized. Everything is up off the floor and everything has a space and there are stations for everything that she owns, which is great. And then the last space that I worked on was the fridge. I basically just took the remainder of the things that were on the floor and I housed them on the fridge. I cleaned off the top of the fridge for her. I put all of her paper products and her picnic items in this basket for her and then everything else was able to fit on here quite nicely. So I'm very pleased with how that space turned out. And that is pretty much everything. The last thing that I did for her was I thrifted this really large wicker type looking purse and I housed all of her plastic grocery bags in, in it and I hung it up on the door for her and then I put all of her stepping stools right as you walk into the utility room on the wall and when they install their sink there, they can just move that. That is the space where they're gonna install a sink in, so I didn't mess with that space, but that is everything. I will link my Instagram down below for you. Please click on my Instagram and follow me because there will be a ton of pictures of before and afters of this space there as well for you to check out. And. I really just hope that this video inspires you if you have a similar space to this and you're not really sure how to organize it to function best for you. Hopefully I was able to give you some great tips, but I love you guys so much and until next time, bye!